Glenn Clark here at the Mustang Classic, where a big win today for Amherst, 19-13, over the number two team in the country, Dennis and Coach Thompson. It's good to see you, first of all. It's nice to be here. Thanks for having Congratulations us. on a really big win. It was a, a thrilling game, as good as advertised for everybody that came out. Um, how was your team able to stand toe to toe with the number two team in the country and kind of really take it to them in the early going and hold on from there? Yeah, I mean, I thought we did come out very well in the first quarter. Um, you know, certainly going up big early helped. Um, I, I thought the face-off stripe for us, you know, Dylan Finazzo yep. is as good as advertised because uh, I, I think their kid is very good too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I also think we're a pretty good lacrosse team. You know, Denison certainly is a very good lacrosse team, but, you know, we're just figuring out who we are right now, and um, and I think we're pretty good. You know, I, I really like the way we rode the ball tonight. Uh, Denison you know, had a little bit of a tough time clearing it, which I'm sure they'll, they'll take care of, but um, you know, I thought the face-offs, I thought the ground ball play and the riding, you know, that's sort of our identity. And yep. so we just were us tonight, and, and we did a nice job of being us. So um, I'm proud of the guys, that's for sure. Your offense had averaged 19 goals a game coming into this one and got 19 more here tonight. Uh, how, how are they able to click the way that they've been clicking this season? Yeah, I think it all starts with our transition midfielders. Um, you know, guys like Jimmy McAfee, um, guys like Ian Kadish, guys like Jordan Sanford. They really get us going, uh, and we play in the unsettled so, so well. You know, and certainly Evan Wolf and Colin Minicus and John Coffey yeah. attack. The, the balls in there stick a lot. And so, you know, we, we really let the guys go um, and let them play and really try and let them be as creative as, as we can. And, you know, when we, when we win ground balls off, the deck that also helps us you know come up with three on twos and four on threes and two on ones and and so you know we're better in six on six this year um but you know we're still having a lot of fun and unsettled too i know you've been making goalie changes this season but you made another one there in the third quarter and while mitchell didn't see a lot when they started to make a little bit of a run in the fourth that one save they made on Petroff on the extra man when Petroff was wide open i thought that was a really really big save there in the fourth quarter it was and especially for his confidence you know i i think we're still that's one of the ways we're still trying to figure out who we are you yeah. know it's for us it's still you know less than a month into the season and, and about actually a month exactly now and and so we're still trying to figure out who's going to jump and who's going to take that starting goaltending role for us and you know cam has had these really great games and gib has had these really good quarters and and so you know tonight i agree with you i thought cam in the third and end of the third and the fourth quarter was just seeing it much better and and i really love the bounce back from him i really loved it well the the reward for knocking off the number two team in the country is you get to celebrate for all of 30 seconds and then prepare for oh just the number one team in the country as you turn around tomorrow to face RIT what, a, what an opportunity you know a couple year or a couple months ago when this when this schedule came out and coach Canabine um, released this schedule you know you thought all right RIT and Denison they're going to be top 10 teams cer yeah, certainly right. um, not sure I thought they were going to be one and two and <laughs> and uh, you know I've got a lot of respect for coach Caravana and I've got a lot of respect for coach Kuhn and the way they run their programs and and so you know we're certainly ready to to get back after it tomorrow and and uh one thing i know is the pace of the play tomorrow um will be yeah. pretty fast uh yeah. you know the over under on shots i don't know you give me 120 shots i'm not sure what i'm taking so uh, i really am looking forward to tomorrow's game it should be a lot of fun coach congratulations on a big win tonight and best of luck tomorrow all right thanks very much again amherst gets the big 1913 win over dennison i'm glenn clark for go mustangsports.com